Good evening, folks. Blitzball Champ is back here with a new video here on the U to the Two. Uh, so be another Carolina Panthers update as um the Carolina Panthers continue to be busy this off season in free agency. Uh, just got two more signings. So uh, yeah. Let's dive in. Dive right on in. So, the Carolina Panthers decide to bring back uh, offensive guard John Miller, um, which he agreed to a one-year deal. And you know what? This is good. This is actually a good signing. You know, John Miller, he did pretty good. He did pretty good. He was one of the solid, um, consistent linemen. Uh, started 14 games on the right side, you know, as the right guard. Um, and, you know, if anything, you know, he got a lot of playing time. Um, played on this team last season. And you know what? He's got that, he's got that uh, starting experience. It'll be interesting to see, to see how this turns out gelling with some new faces on the offensive line so um i mean little by little we're, we're starting to see some things develop here now i don't think that carolina is done you know tooling up the offensive line i, I still feel like there's more to be seen but you know what they're attacking the offensive line and I'm sure we'll probably may see a little more depth come out of potentially the draft. But I don't think Carolina's done yet with the offensive line. But I think it's safe to say that because it's a clear priority, you know, Mr. Fitterer, Matt Rule, Mr. Tepper, like, they're taking this seriously, at least from what I understand. So, um... You know, one-year deal, bring him back for, for one more year. I think it's a pretty good signing, and I think it gives room to really see what we end up having um, from now until the end of next season and then just kind of re-evaluate things. But, you know, with this signing, think think about this. I want to I ask y'all something. Think about this. Just from what's been happening like from who's been signed so far it's looking like if we were to pick a starting lineup for the offensive line it's it would probably look something like this of course matt paradis will be at center looks like uh john miller will be at that right guard spot Taylor Moten being that right tackle spot. Potentially Pat Fline at that left guard spot. And unless they can really score big at this position, it might end up being Cam Irving at left tackle at that blind spot. How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about that potentially being the starting offensive line compared to what we had last season? Um, I still think there's a little more work to be done. And I'm really hoping, I'm honestly hoping we could kind of land a little bit more of a, not necessarily has to be a bigger name at left tackle but someone that definitely excels at that position whether it be free agency or, or out of the draft i'm feeling kind of iffy on cam irving which overall this is probably the one signing that i'm really hesitant about but i don't think repairing the offensive line is over yet I still feel like it's safe to say we could probably expect to see some offensive linemen get picked up 
in the draft. Maybe if they can score another one from uh, free agency. I don't. I don't really know what the cap situation is now, but I mean, it'd be nice if they could if they could really pick up a premier uh, left tackle. But we'll see. We'll see. But it's looking like on paper that potentially could be the starting offensive line. But we'll see. So. John Miller, one-year deal. We're bringing him back. Carolina Panthers also picked up another linebacker. So, so some more defense. Um, former Jet linebacker Frankie Luvu signed to a one-year deal. So this is this is a depth signing. Um, no. Really, really, really low to no risk. Um, apparently, this Frankie Louvu specializes in playing the uh, the three four, just like Hassan Reddick specializes in in the three four, and not only that. It looks like he also has some some special teams experience as well. So maybe seeing Frankie Louvu on uh, special teams as well. But it's gonna really give Phil Snow some some options, some ideas. You know, I you know, and this is a young guy. He's only twenty four years old. He's a young guy. Um. Let's see. He's only registered six sacks. He's played over. He's played forty games. Played forty games over the last three years for the Jets. Uh, four of them were starts. Um, here. I mean, last season had seventeen solo tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. Um, six three, two hundred thirty-six pounds. Uh, from Washington State. Like I said, six six sacks total in his career so far. Debuted in 2018. Uh, I mean, he hasn't played a full season. I mean, he's played 14, 13, and 13. I mean... He's got he's got two passes deflected. So I mean Like I said, this guy is young. He's young and this is a depth move. And you know, this is somebody else that excels at the 3-4. And it looks like he's also has some pass rushing ability. And I have to say, from the signings that Carolina has made so far on the defense, it looks like they're really, really going heavy on pass rushing. Um, so yeah, this, this may end up really boosting the defense even more than what we had last season. And that's going to really, really help keep this Carolina Panthers team in the game. Now, of course, we all know how things went with Teddy Bridgewater, you know, 0-8. But you would imagine that eventually, even if he ends up being the guy that we roll with for another season, you would think if consistently the defense gets the ball in his hands with the game on the line. You would think and hope that Teddy Two Gloves, Teddy Checkdown, would break that trend at some point. We would hope. We would hope. I mean, 0 and 8, that's a lot. But we would hope that this season he would be able to break that trend. If the defense 
more and more consistently can get the ball back into the hands of the offense with, you know, the game on the line or just giving the offense as many opportunities as possible to get the ball and, and get it in the end zone. But, you know, I really like what they're doing so far with the defensive signings and even with some of the offensive signings as well. You know, I know a lot of these are, you know, one, two-year deals, mostly one-year deals, but I think Carolina Panthers have been very active in free agency. And like I said, it's not necessarily going to be a lot of big names acquired, but you get a good amount of depth and you get the the players that really are going to specialize in doing the things that your team wasn't able to do in the past season, you you got a winner. You got a winner. Um I'm excited. I'm actually excited. We haven't even gotten to the draft yet. And I'm I'm actually getting more and more excited. You know, I think overall, Carolina's been doing pretty well in these free agent signings. And I think there will be more to come. And then we have the draft to look forward to at the end of April, which, man, April can't get here quick enough. But, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think? What do y'all think of uh, the re-signing of John Miller? that right guard position or, you know, offensive guard, a uh, one-year deal to return to the team. And what do y'all think about the signing of linebacker Frankie Luvu to a one-year deal? Um, known to be active in the 3-4 and passing, pass rush, and also has, you know, some special teams play, a lot of special teams play. So, um... And like I said, these seem to be low-risk moves. You know, these low-risk moves. John Miller, you know, like I said, he started 14 games. And on as a uh, right guard, that is. You know, John Miller, he's been, been pretty healthy. You know, so... These aren't bad moves. Overall, I don't think these are bad moves. They've been doing a lot of work with depth. And we just have to see uh, what else comes around. But I'm definitely liking what they're, what they're doing so far. So uh, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll also... Uh, link the articles um, to the description box as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is Blitzball Champ signing off. Catch y'all later. Have a blessed day. Peace.